Lat pull down with a lat bar. Performing a lat pull down with a lat bar is a little bit different than using like a V-grip or using stirrups or even using a rope attachment. Uh, once you take your grip out a little bit wider, it's often challenging to figure out what to do with your arms, what to do with your elbows. Do you pull further down? Do you pull further up? Where do you pull into your chest? It just changes the nuance of the exercise. You see that I'm sitting on a bench. My lat pull setup is a little bit further away from me, so it's more of a horizontal pull almost than it is a straight vertical pull in a cable machine. So that does also throw off the dynamic of the exercise just a little bit. However, the fundamentals are still the same. You wanna make sure that you're pressing your shoulders away from your ears. You wanna make sure that your uh, core is engaged, that you're not rounding your back up too much. You wanna make sure that you're sitting on your sit bones. So none of that changes. However, when you're using a conventional cable machine set up at the gym, or even if you're directly below a high anchor point, uh, using a tube band or resistance band set up at home, you want to lean back just a little bit more that way, you're drawing your elbows back and down, kind of in line with the lower third of your rib cage. You wanna feel your lat engage as you pull in, drop the shoulders down, squeeze the lats, brace your abs, and then release under control. Everyone's biomechanics are just a little bit different. Everyone physiologically is just a little bit different, so you have to play with your positioning. Start light, work your way up in weight, that is a lat pull with a lat bar.